Hi guys, welcome to Lumber, and we are here for an Australian group. We've got Rampage versus Ratio, Ratio, Shorudo. I'm not trying to say that, sorry. Japanese team, uh, the Japanese nickname, but he is actually from, I think he's from USA. He's actually not from Australia. Uh, Hawaii, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, please feel free to correct me. As he's going down to, with this in the center with an assault squad. And same, I guess, for, no, he's got a regular squad, so... Rampage has got a regular. He's going to the center point as well. A decent area. I think ratio has got a lot more troops behind cover and in positions that uh, that have really good line of sight to fire down. As you can see, uh, Rampage has got a lot of guys just standing back. So uh, if you're watching this Rampage, the opening definitely isn't a good one uh, with a lot of guys being inactive, especially with the M1 Garange should be in behind positions where they can shoot from afar, so even using the cabbages <laughs> as cover. A uh, nice flank, ooh, almost. The BAR is doing decent damage from back over here. I find the MDs are actually looking to be better than prior to this patch, so the buff to the accuracy has actually done them a good service, and potentially they could be quite useful in my opinion. Not Maybe not for the very start, and maybe only for USA at the very start. Actually. So we have the western point going to the Japanese and the eastern point going to ooh, Rampage, but very precariously with two guys already pin, pinning him down. SMGs, the Type 100s should prevail. BAR in the center, only almost only the lone surviving guy. One guy just trying to pop out to get a grenade. Does get one. And and here comes a full weight of another... What squad is this? This looks like it's an assault squad. So coming down between the center to flank. So just a bit of introduction on these two players. You've probably seen Rampage play Hansi. So this is the group where Hansi is in. And uh, first place has already been decided. Hansi has pretty much wiped everyone in this group. And second place is yet to be decided because this is the match that will decide actually second place in this group. Both these players, um, yeah, we could, we've lost Dandy, unfortunately. So both these players are, I guess, uh, not the, I guess, not, not the most experienced players out there. So uh, whoever's going to play them in the top 18, or top, sorry, top 16, will be, I guess, rather fortunate. But hopefully they can uh, pick up some of the meta before they get to the finals. But this is the deciding match. Rampage with some nice grenades behind that house. Sneaky SMG. In the distance we now see another assault squad by, a recruit squad by. Ooh, interesting. To the eastern point. I hear M20 down over here, and here it is. M20 going to fill the gaps to the eastern to protect it, and the center is going to no one at the moment. Potentially, uh, Rampage can just run in there because um, Reshio Shiruda's troops is are in in cover. M20 support doing okay, and this is why. Mm, it's dangerous to go to the M20. The cheap hugger can just take it out quite easily if it's not waiting. Oh no, it was actually getting in range. At this range, it could have probably penetrated it if it decides to turn its uh, gun around to shoot. It could have taken that hugger out. Uh, look at this 180 MP. Hugger is 160 MP, as you can see. Or as, as you probably can't see, but you know that it's 160 MP. And really, we can pick up the 50 cal. Oh no, he can pick up the 50 cal and, oh, it's too late. Oh, bazooka. <laughs> See the bazooka? Uh, M20 does have the bazooka as well. But the 50 cal could have picked that up and just shot it from the side and killed it quite easily. Penetration is pretty decent for killing light and can kill light armor quite well. Hago on the field. This is why Japanese, uh, for you new players, Japanese are very economical. Better units are cheaper. <laughs> That's the simple fact, as Rampage doesn't have much coming with an assault squad. As time goes by though, Rampage will be able to field better units, potentially a Sherman, depending on if you can stave off the 75mm AA. In fact, there's not many good places on this map to spawn a 75mm AA for the Japanese. You know the one that the what comes with the tow, Type 92 armored car, carries around that big gun. Uh, the only place is probably on this flag right here and it's actually quite risky because the hill is actually quite close so you don't really have much line of view even over here 
you have to go right up to the top of the hill and it's pretty damn close to everything. Um, yeah, in my opinion, 80 guns on the, on the, uh, oh, okay, actually, are we playing the Axis side? Uh, on the Axis side, yes, on the Axis side, it is really hard to pull off, but he's got the Western Point, quite securely, the no action happening over there, very soon there will be, with the squad moving up, there's also a squad moving up to the Eastern Point, this is just the kamikazes. They probably won't assault. Maybe they will, because uh, there's not too many forces. Potentially they could go into battle. But here comes the assault with the Hago. Combined arms. Type 100. Oof. So remember, this this is this match has a lot on stake for both these players. This match will decide who gets to be in the finals. Basically, so whoever loses, this is the deciding match. So I forgot to mention that they, they already played twice before this and they won one game each. And I must say, it was pretty epic, the previous games that they played. Uh, one of the games went for 40-something minutes, guys. A 1v1 at 40-something minutes. I don't have time to cast that, sorry. <laughs> uh, you can probably watch it in the workshop. I'm pretty sure they uploaded, uploaded the replays to public. But anyway, we see an assault by the kamikazes. I do like to use kamikazes sometimes in non-stealth mode because they got the type 100s, they're damn good and you do need a lot of firepower at the start um, you need to make use of all the firepower you can uh, also you yeah, also you ooh, these days, even 1v1s, I think these days SSD is usually the choice um, of the weapon of choice, this has only happened recently in all other tournaments in the past if anyone went Japan, actually, really, Japan is pretty much <laughs> only this tournament. Previous tournaments in the past, no one was really daring enough to go go Japan. Um, myself, I, I, yeah, I didn't as well. I just didn't uh, because I, I was not in the, in the previous previous um, patches. I was never an SMG fan, and this this is why I didn't really like Japan because I didn't think SMGs were all that good. And I used to spam single rifles like anything. But I'm convinced now SMGs for certain nations are much better than going single rifles because of the ability to pin down. And the Type 100s of the Japanese are, the, I guess, one of the best value SMGs. It is the best value SMG in the game right now, and I think they do deserve a bit of a nerf. But we'll see how this goes. As now the Cromwell, no, sorry, Sherman support, the M3, M4, A3 Sherman push with some conscripts for line of sight. Might be able to do okay. This is probably the best medium tank uh, support, infantry support tank. Due to its massive firepower, as you can see, how many MGs are blazing well, especially the 50 cal at the top. Side turning very... Oh! Ooh! Bam! <laughs> okay, that was the kamikaze guy. Nearly, nearly snuck up on him. Eastern point is going to Mr. Rampage. Look at those MGs go. I love it. Nice shot. Right there. And now we have an assault squad coming towards the center. And the Shermans Pushing, sorry, just got a messenger. Uh, Haga is on the field as well. Another one. This is the same one. Uh, no, yeah, it is the same one from the start. May try get a flank bit of, uh, I guess you call it. Call it. <laughs> yep, bit of a gamble. It's, uh, I guess, worth a try, but uh, it was never going to really happen. It's so, so much um, empty space right now on the right. Uh, Sticky Kamikaze is right over here. You can see the bushes there and potentially anything can flank it really. Line of sight problems again from Rampage as you can see from Hansi versus Hansi but this time uh, Rampage is fighting I suppose. He's not fighting Hansi so <laughs> he may get away with it. It's uh, really precariously turning its side to the front of uh, where the troops may came, come from as well which is quite dangerous. But Ratio Shirudo, pretty good lead 35 to 0 will cap the center and now he's pushing up, uh, Rampage is pushing up with conscripts plus some OSS commandos. Bam! Silencer in the back. That was brilliant.
Ooh, standoff. Boom! <laughs> Look at that, that was awesome. Disintegrated by the AT grenade. Only thing left is this helmet. As I can click, uh, see the corpses. Nothing is there. Totally disintegrated. Uh, ooh. Rampage <laughs> SMG. Yep. I stepped on an American. What is that? Bam. Point blank rifle shot. Or MG shot, in fact. Top left says. Uh, here comes the Sherman with the support. I'll try to do more close-ups, guys, and not click around too much, because really part of the viewing experience for you guys is seeing the action. Even though I like to focus on the strategy a lot and the movements of troops, but I've got to start to, I think I've got to start to um, give me some of the nitty-gritty action here. Here is the conscripts. Kamakasis, two of them left. Oh! What the hell? He ran into his own grenade. That was a bit silly of him there. SMG. Oh, throws it back. So, definitely outnumbered right now. And Sherman is just asking for it with its side turned all that time. <laughs> Line of sight. That was quite funny. And he's moving very precariously again with its side turned all the way towards the enemy. They're lucky though. Sharudo has nothing to stop it. Eastern Point, OSS Commanders is on the job, sneaking around. These are the guys that have uh, been buffed, coming with one extra guy, plus bazookas. Center is now going to Sharudo. But quick support for conscripts, so he's playing the conscripts card, Mr. Rampage. Saving his money a bit. You can see he does have decent bank. 430 MP, 8 special points, and using these guys just for line of sight. And Sharuda really has is having trouble dealing with this Sherman. He, he just hasn't been countering it. There's lots of things that can counter it on the field. And, oh wow, no wonder. He's got a cheater. Wow, that was a massive bank from Mr. Sharuda. Um, maybe overkill. It's a bit hard when the Sherman's so close to this hill. It has to go into killing range. And, uh, the Sherman's ability to kill it, but perhaps he may get a shot off us. And Sherman should actually go closer. This is what Rampage should do, and he's doing it fine. He's just got the wrong shell loaded, HE shell, change to AP, camp this hill, get some troops over here, and get these uh, commandos closer with the bazookas. And then uh, potentially take this Cheeto out. This is good play here by um, Rampage, also using this rock to block some of his armor. Oh no, you have to keep watch though. He has to keep watch all times. The most important unit on the map. He was in the perfect position, but never mind. Here is a potential kill. This is an 800 MP tank, and this is a two pointer special. Only one of them out of the four guys going to do a lots of damage. Let's follow this OSS commando, Ricky Turner. Let's see how Ricky Turner go. Oh no, he's been spotted. <laughs> and he's all over. Oh, it's too many. Nah, he can't. He's gone behind the hill. What? Oh, that was pretty close. I'm going to save it. Oh, wow. I've been watching the wrong guy. It's, uh, who's this guy? I don't know who this guy is. Um, I can't click on him because I can't change teams because of the bug. If I change teams, it'll screw up everything. Uh, another command have been spotted. So the stealth guys have been spotted and the other guys is the non-stealth people are just uh, walking around, just killing stuff. Quite funny. This is the other commander. Where's the last bazooka commander? There should be one more commander on the field. OSS commander. Not sure where he is. What? What? Oh, sorry guys, I missed that, but that was an epic buy. This is the new improved slugger, 650 MP. I'd like to see that in action. I just have in the tournament. This is the first tank destroyer. I have seen that's done very well. Um, Slugger. For oh, what a shot. Hagar is repaired to Rampage's <laughs> field as well. Um, that was damn worth it, I must say. Accuracy for the Slugger, if you guys haven't been watching the previous videos, I've done a video of all the changes in the patch for balance. Uh, Hellcat, Wolverine, Slugger, you can see how cheap they are now. Also, they are more accurate, plus more accurate on the move. Oh, 80 infantry <laughs> gets hug on. Uh, it's the worst getting killed by units from your own. Uh, that was, I guess, your own before. 
who didn't finish it off. But interesting play with this slugger. Uh, so sorry, I did a bunch of they got stabilizers so they can shoot better on the move. Uh, people haven't been using it so far. No one's really experimented with USA. No one actually does go USA in this tournament much. But I'd really like to see the exciting tank destroyers being used by an exciting player. Um, I'd like to see, uh, I guess, a top tier player try it. Like the one of the best players. Just, I guess they wouldn't because it's too risky. In my opinion, tank destroyers are still way too risky. But. Uh, for situations where you're like that, in fact, when the slugger, when the Cheeto was king of the field, and you didn't, you can't really buy a standard counter for a Cheeto. Just go nuts with the tank destroyer, bam! That's a game changer. And look at the HE shells pounding away. Look at top left, slugger just killed like six guys with one HE shell, doing very well. Fifty-one zero. Surprisingly, he hasn't got on the scoreboard yet, considering he is winning by kill count. Score by kill count. And here goes a conscript. Hold down. Oh. Some sneaky guys in the backfield running run over ammo. These are the, are these the kamikazes? Yeah, I think those are the kamikazes you saw back over here shooting out with these guys. They decide to prone and sneak, which is good. Run out of SMG ammo. <laughs> but uh, oh, AT rifle. Bam, bam, type 97. Super fast reload rate. Done a good job. It's like a bit slow to respond. It's already long gone now. Uh, still haven't, uh, hasn't captured the flag. Sh Shirudo still has that. Uh, potential deadly situation with those kamikazes to sneak behind if he wants to. Assault squad coming towards the center point. This is a long game. Um, but ticking slowly, there hasn't been a 3 cap, that's why it's been taking so long. Let's see what happens with this uh, squad. Oh, look at that. Oh, this, this, look how accurate the slugger is. Mate, do you see how accurate the slugger is? I've been watching it, I've been thinking those are lucky shots, those are lucky shots. But, geez, it's turned, it's become a lot more accurate. I mean, I thought the nerf would make it accurate, but this is, some, this is something else. This is... This is good stuff. Hopefully people... I've been noticing two things that have surprised me so far in this tournament in affecting machine gunners. I find they have been doing pretty good for for their buffs. I thought the buff wasn't, be, wasn't enough. Same as these tank destroyers, I thought the buff wouldn't do much with the accuracy, but this accuracy is superb. But here comes a Hago, and really it's a 50-50. Miss a shot, reload rate so long, the Hago will just get too close and destroy it. Oh, shot! Oh, look at that. How accurate you don't you don't see sluggers back, sluggers that being this accurate um, before the patch. Easton, what do we have? Not sure. That tank destroyer. BAR? Decent accuracy even on standing. Let's have a look at this assault though. 64 to 0 ramp. Shooter still having the majority of flags may take this point as well. Oh, nice grenade though by this conscript. I hear an M20 coming though. Here it is. Filling in the gaps and we'll stop him in his tracks. And potentially now Rampage will have the points ticking towards him now with a Kunu. This is the 180 MP tank, similar to the Hugger. You just basically get that if the Hugger goes on the timer, because he just bought the other one. He can't buy another one so soon. But uh, potential death if it comes too close while he's over here. Oh, OSS Commando. This is not the AT Bazooka guy though. Grenade, grenade. Oh, no, there it goes. Oh! Slugger. See, Slugger hasn't bloody missed a shot. It hasn't missed a shot. I'm impressed. Um, recruits on the way. You may get may spot this guy. You may spot Todd Martinez. So he's um, obviously... His parents were from Spain, perhaps. Martinez. Let's have a look. I wonder if uh, I remember 
I remember in, uh, sorry if I'm bringing up a bit of a, oh you don't have portraits anymore. I swear in the Assault Squad, Men of War 1 or Assault Squad 1, they had portraits of guys on the top bottom left. And the American Bazooka guy was a black guy. I just wanted to see some diversity. Like, is there any of these guys uh, black? Not that it matters, but I just thought it'd be pretty cool detail if there was some diversity in the ranks. I'm 20. Down. Uh, here's the Assault Squad. Should be able to push through. You can see the M1 Garand eating these guys alive right now. And Slugger. Surprisingly still alive, being so in the open for a tank destroyer. Um, very interesting play. Tank destroyers probably should be in a more safe position. Maybe even at the top of the hill. So if he misses a shot, he can go down. Or even not even exposed at all, even below the hill. Oh, there goes the Kuna. Bounce the shot. 66 to 5 and a retake from Mr. Rampage. Shirudo still has a decent chance to cap this. He's got a decent amount of infantry, but not behind cover. If they can get to the cover, maybe those fences, split up the fences and some of these storm walls. No push in the western from Rampage at all since the start. Uh, Eastern Point still being contested. So unfortunately it's going to be a few, I guess, well, I don't want to say say it this way, but I, yeah, just, I don't know how else to say it, but might be a few players in the top 16 that make it out of the group that I guess may not be as skilled as the others due to the fact we have quite a few levers and good players that are levers as well. So let's have a look. What the hell was that grenade about? That was weird. MG and uh, there's a slugger. One fifteen percent. Let's have a look. Reload speed, accuracy. He's done well. Done well this game, that's for sure. Uh, so now he's got the lead. 22, 22 minutes in. Seven to sixty-seven. This is a long game, and surprisingly for the USA team versus Japan. Type ninety-two. Two of them. This is definitely the home guard. Not much action at the moment. I can focus on positions right now. And finally he's decided to move them in the pack. <laughs> oh, they're standing there. They're not participating. Should push him forward more. This slugger could have been flanked so easily. As you can see, there's no line of sight whatsoever. Shirudo just maybe lacking the micro. Ooh. 80 infantry, so daring. Just runs all the way up. And even nearly got that uh, slugger, which doesn't have any defense other than this 50 cal that's behind it. Ooh, I thought that was a kamikaze. <laughs> but what do we have here? We have a Haga coming to the western point. Eastern point, well, 50 cal. He's grabbed that uh, with the assault squad leader, which is good. So it's got two, uh, two weapon efficiency. 50 cal picked up from the M20, and we'll be able to hold quite decently. I think the Kerno just wants to get quite lucky. I'm trying to flank that slugger. Potentially a two-way attack. It might be quite interesting to see this tank right there attack at the same time. shirudo has got the same mind. He's doing so. I'm trying to see what's happening. Shirudo with the tank on the other side. Gets a Sasha. Brilliant bait. Oh, other guy. Quick. Go too. Oh no, both at the same time. Just just don't worry about DCing it. Oh, that could have been a perfect attack. Same time, just right click, right click, and both of them will just go at the same time and just direct control the one that he's not firing at. And that's it. So that could have been executed a bit better. The idea was there, and now this guy's going one by one to attack. That was a perfect, perfect, uh, almost a perfect play. And oh wow, Sherman's out too. Jesus, what's going on here? Shirudo. Oh, this is going to be nasty. Oh no, potential kill for that Sherman. He's got it! That was a game changer. If that was stayed alive, that would have been that would have been so tough for 
Rampage to come back into us. And this is a 50-50 play right now. And I'm going to go for the Hago, unless it doesn't get AT grenaded. It does, okay. We didn't get AT grenaded. Hago had a better chance due to its accuracy and reload rate. Uh, wow. That could have been a game changer. This would have locked down one of the flags, or both of them slugger behind it to protect it as well. That would have been an impenetrable wall. Uh, wow, Rampage might get to the western as well with a squad right here. Eastern Point has got a lot of guys from the home guard just standing there. I would definitely run them to this cover, start the shootout quickly, and try to get into the game a bit. Uh, 67 to 25, that this bank of the of the Cheeto really screwed up Trudeau's game. Uh, 67 26, 50 cal picked up from the M20. Doing the USA team much service right now. And just running in. Oh, this guy's pinned down. He's not actually firing back. But grenading very well. He's moving back to a different wall now. Oh, he's pinned down. Tanker even chasing him. Oh no, he's just taking a walk too slowly. He's going to get shot in the back with the Nambu pistol. Bam. <laughs> He just doesn't know what to do. Oh no, shirudo has got the Eastern. Oh! And there's Type 99 to the face of that 50 cal guy. Slugger has got his engine turned. Not sure why. It's very dangerous. Another Hargur could... I can't believe it's still alive, basically. Just send two little tanks over. Even send it... Call the Banzai and just charge it. It can't do anything. But here comes a quick response of... What's inside that half track conscript? So he bought a normal half track, filled it up with conscripts, and he's going to start attacking the eastern point. Let's see how he goes. He's going to take this back. 67.30. Just conscripts though. Ooh, recruit. Oh wow, slaughtered by just guys pinned down in good locations. Very well done. And Sherudo is trying to avoid the slugger back over there and taking the furthest route possible, which is good play. But struggling to get up the hill, may you get there. They're using the most edge, the most, sorry, the, the deepest edges of the map for this uh, maneuver, which is quite impressive. Still alive, there it goes. And he holds on the eastern point and the western center still into. Rampage's hands. 30 points to go. Can the Japanese player hold even though the slugger is the king of the field, but really in a, wow, interesting position. Rangers coming. Eastern point. Hago, still in the backfield. So here goes the Rangers. Should be able to push right through. A cutting cake. Nothing there except the recruits. Support of the... What is it called? The Browning. Oh, look at those Johnsons at the top left. Sorry, the Johnson, Johnson LMG. It's not the UK. Oh, look at that nasty business. Pushed through quite easily. Hago, or yep, Hago is trying to get into the battle now. It should. They definitely need support right now. Some HE shells being lobbed. Slugger is going to come and try and put an end to this. It's quite funny seeing the Slugger fight light tanks <laughs> in this game. That's what it's been doing most of the game. And it's plugging the gaps. 75 to 30, my goodness. This game is proving now to be quite a game of wits and maneuvering not speed it slowed down quite a bit and there's a bit of a standoff happening Hago can't come out to support slugger is it's just I'm just on edge right now because the slugger just anything can happen to it, it can just die from anything in the position it's in it's just so risky <laughs> right now and what has he got coming to counter something he's got uh, recruits oh shit What's going on? He doesn't have any weight to his assaults at the... Oh! Oh! Shit! This is the game decider! Kamikaze has decided to participate! Oh! 
<laughs> this is what is good about the slugger. See this guy? He saw it. And relayed it to this guy. He turned around and shot him. Wow. So having an MG facing backwards is actually quite good for the slugger. It turned out okay. Another guy though is going to try it. This time potentially going to try avoid that angle. Maybe go from this way there. And wow. These rangers are ripping stuff up. Top left. Recruits are getting slaughtered. Absolutely slaughtered. And nothing coming. Nothing coming from the Japanese player. He's focused on one of this. Oh, there goes the turret again from the Argo. Going to go back to repair in the riverway. Uh, Rangers easily hold the eastern point. And here is the charge of the Kamikaze. Let's have a look how this goes. Oh, can this do it this time? Maybe get a bit to the outer side. This MG's. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's. T oh, no, run, run, really. Whoa. Huh? Wow. He, ex that was the he exploded there. <laughs> he hit just the outside. That was lucky. Very, very close. Oh, that was funny. Boom. Finally. It's like it gets destroyed. Uh, I like close up guys. Now, so as a player, you don't really go into close up much. You really focus on the upper picture, the bigger picture, and move around. Especially a player like myself. And I really got get got to get used to close ups because they are really good to see for myself. And I'm sure for you viewers, close ups are very cool. The, the graphics are actually quite good. Hug up, 50 cal, bam. Oh, it's decrewed. It's delivered him a free half track. Here you go. Courtesy of the US Army. Uh, get into that half track. There's not enough troops around to man it though. Uh, so Marines are coming in. And wow. What a push from... He's going to try a three cap. Shit. Rampage is going to try a three cap. And he's got that back. Oh, oh, and this half track 50 cal can't take out that hard guard. It can't. It's gonna. It's gonna. And it has. Perhaps. No. Engines damage. Oh no, wrong unit, wrong unit attack, why are you shooting, no, oh wow, it's got so much time, this is the priority unit, oh, that could have turned out the other way, totally, and unfortunately that happened, as we now see an assault of the recruits, what's going on, so it's recruits after recruits, he's going to struggle to really punch through the field, why is he only buying recruits, it can't be that low on money, unless he's saving for something big, 50 to 75, jeez, Rampage is really... Wow, how did he get the three cap? Eastern Point, Rampage holding this area. And. Uh, wow, okay. The three caps on, and wow, the USA team <laughs> is going to victory if they. If, if the Japanese team doesn't do anything quick, SSD quick buy, gonna try to take out even on Type 92 on the field right now, gonna try uh, lots of light vehicles everywhere coming to assault. Where is the assault going to happen? And it might be dangerous with the rangers on the field because I think he may have some recallless rifles in position anytime soon. Where is the recallless rifle? Mm, none of these guys are recallless rifles. Where are the recallless rifles? Maybe they're dead. Maybe they are. Top nair 2 coming to the center perhaps. SSD going to the eastern perhaps. And what is going on here? The Haga's being destroyed. Well, the recallless rifle. There is the recallless rifle. Here it is. It's been spotted and may influence the center battle. Oh, missed. Still got time. I don't think uh, Shirudo has noticed. 78 to 75. Geez, he needs to make a move on really fast. Look, three cap means death. Points are ticking crazy into his favor. Oh, wow. What's going on here? Rampage. Rampage has got this. He's almost got this. 83, 85. Um, wow, all the troops got mowed down. He needs something bigger to assault. Get in there right now. 87, 75, there is absolutely no time for anything else but charging a flag on all fronts. Oh. Johnson, LMG. Oh, he can't shoot behind that little uh, top of that... Uh, top of that sink? Kettle? What is that? Don't know. And uh, he holds on. Good game to Rampage. This is a surprise. Sherudo was definitely the favorite in my opinion. And 
I think Rampage is off to the finals unless Hung uh, plays the game. He still hasn't played the game, so he may be booted from the tournament. Anyway, good game, guys. Well done to Rampage.